Step one, what we're going to do is cut our clay using the pounding board and our wire. We established our clay and what we want to do is we want to make a cone. And the cone is literally wedged into the shape of a cone very quickly. Don't spend too much time on it. Just make sure that there's no air pockets. And what you want to do is have a dome of a cone shape pretty much in this area here and then that will go onto the wheel. First thing is to prepare your wheel. You need to have it fully dried and clean. Best way to do it is with a dry towel after you have fully cleaned it. Make sure that it's 100% dry and all the grooves are cleaned out. That's very important to do. Second of all, you want to place your clay directly over top. You want to look and center it and then you want to bring up and put down as centered as you can. Once you have your cone, uh, we already went over how to do the cone. What we want to do is, the cone itself, we want to make sure it's centered. You put a liberal amount of water on your hands, okay, making sure that you have a lot of water on your hands. What you're going to do is you're going to then over top cup and go slowly with your hands. My elbows are going to be inside of my legs and I'm going to be pushing down. Now, what will happen is, is that it will start to lose a little bit of its water. You have to keep watering in the beginning very heavily. What you do is you create yourself a little dome like this. And what happens is, is that if you put your hands together and center the clay, it won't move it all back and forth. You need to have your clay centered. And I like to go the cone, the dome, which is this, and I push down a little bit and I get what looks very similar to what a hockey puck would look like. So it's cone, dome, hockey puck in that order. Next what we're going to do is we're going to then start our blank. And a blank is very simple to do is you find the center and you go off to the center a little bit because the rotation will be this way. My fingers have to push the clay into my chop hand. Now what I do is I call this the karate chop. It sits down and doesn't move. See how everything's centered? And what I do is I push in, keeping this leveraged in my leg, down hard. I push in until I get about that far from the bottom. I don't go any further. And this is, we're very similar everybody with the blank that we use for our pinch pot. It's almost exactly the same. But instead of it taking a longer time, I can do it really quickly on a wheel. This is what's called a blank. Now the blank can be put into anything. We're going to make a very simple bowl right now. So the blank is here. Now see the thickness from side to side. What I want to do is I want to then inside center it and I want to push into my karate chop hand and slowly work my way out. My hand will slowly move out. The inside hand will push into it. And all I do is very, very slowly making sure that I, got water, I have water on my hands. Now the hardest part is trying to keep a little top pressure with my thumb. All I do is I open up and then I center. And when you get it to where you want it to be, literally stop. Now if you notice the, thin, the top is thin, the bottom is a little thicker because it has to hold the, the foundation. We have it here and what we'll do is this is ready for what's called a finish. So what we can do is we can do a finish trim later, but right now we are fully finished with the bowl.